So Laura, Madam Chair, yeah. you should be free to carry on this meeting as normally scheduled. If you have any issues, you know how to find me. Okay, great. We just need to get up more people. Right now we don't even have enough people. We actually so have, we have a quorum. quorum. We have a quorum. Oh. Four, four out of seven, right. But we should probably wait and see, right? Don't we want to wait and see if others are joining us? Hi, Joe. And Laura, right, thank you. Good evening. Yeah. Go ahead. You click on participants and add yeah. folks. As okay. Oh yeah, they're there. I have to look at, I have to let them in. Yes. Yes. Uh, attendees, Ooh. Gloria. It says allowed to talk. Yep. Can I promote? I think I need to promote it to a panelist, right, Miles? Correct. And then Leah. Do the same thing. Yep. Okay. So is that? Oh, Jeff. Does anybody know if Jeff is coming? I don't, I don't know. know. <clears throat> Hello. You're on mute, Gloria. Mute. No. Just like last time. <laughs> so we're recording now. Do you want me to pause while you get back on, Gloria? One thing. Oh. Is this work? Yes. yes. Good. Okay. Great. Got it. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to be off camera for a second. I am here. I'll be right back. Okay, great. So, so should we? Um, mm -hmm. We'll start the meeting. Um, so this is the um, Monday, March thirteenth meeting of the Needham Historical Commission. Um, until March thirty first, we are still allowed to do hybrid meetings. Um, this meeting is uh, by Zoom, and um, I think the first thing we need to do is uh, take attendance and make sure see who's here. Is that right? Okay, so um, we'll go through, um, I guess I'll do it by in order of the people I see. Don Lankwitz. Present. Joe Morrell. Present. Rose Doherty. Here. Leah Walkovich. Do I say Present. Walkovich Gordy. Mm -hmm. Close. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. I'll get it right next time. I have the same issue, Leah. <laughs> yes, your name is, yeah. Gloria Grice. Here. And it looks like Jeff Heller is absent. Okay, great. Okay. Um, the first item on the agenda is the approval of the February 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have any comments or edits or anything on the minutes? No. Okay. Nice job. Right. Yeah. As usual. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I'll move to approve the minutes. If second. No second. I have, I just seconded. Okay, great. Do we need to go through everybody and just take a, make sure we all agree? Aye. Sure. Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, Joe? No objections. Leah? No, no exceptions or objections. I can talk tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, and I, I, I um, like to approve these minutes. Gloria, I don't know if you vote because you did them. Uh, I think they're great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the best I've ever seen. The minutes are approved. Yeah. Um, so we got it. Uh, I got it. You didn't know. let me vote. Oh, well, didn't it's vote either. Well, you, you know, I yeah. thought it was, you made the motion and you approved it. Do I need to ask you again? Oh, that's true. Okay. No, you don't. Okay. Nope. I'm happy to, Rose. No, don't, don't, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so there was a memo that came up from the town that said um, as of March 31st, and Don, jump in if I'm getting this wrong, um, that um, that's when the um, COVID sort of policy on hybrid meetings expires unless it gets extended. But what would happen would be um, the only way to have 
members are expected to would be expected to, to appear in person unless there was an issue and the chair would approve it. The public has more of the option now, the hybrid versus the in-person. Did I get that right, Don? Yeah, with the hybrid, it's a combination of in-person and Zoom. For um, any of the commission members that might not be able to make it to the meeting could attend uh, virtually as well as any, um, any people, any members of the public. Right. And that, but that's the members are, and not that anyone would, I'm sure everyone would have a great reason. It has, it's sort of up to the chair's discretion. I think, I think the point of this is they'd like to get people back, but if you, if it's a hardship or any kind of issue, it's, you know, that's fine. But they could extend it again. Um, Miles uh, or somebody, I believe it was Miles, said that it's likely that they could extend it out again because they've done that a few times. So the April meeting um, is going to be hybrid. And if you can't attend in person, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Will those be at town hall, I assume, Laura? Yes, they're usually in, um, Rose, Rose would know, and Don. The great plain you know, room on the bottom floor. So you go in like a side door and you walk downstairs and there's a, a room there. Called the Great Plain Room, and that's where we usually meet. We usually meet, but they could move us around too, right, Rose? We don't really know. That's where we usually go, but. Right. Uh, I would suggest that the next time we send out the agenda, we put the meeting ID and the password right next to each other so that it's easy for people to get on. I okay. think the public would find it very difficult to get on. You typically, you just click on that link and you're in. That's, that's, that didn't happen for me this time for some reason. All you have to do is click on that first link and you should just be in. You don't need a passcode or anything. It didn't work. It yeah. didn't work this time, but it usually works. So I don't know. I, I tried to do the ID and password route first, and that didn't work for me either. It wasn't until that second link got sent that I was actually able to get in. So I took that second link, and you guys know there's a calendar on the town website. So you go to boards, uh, you go to your government, boards and committees, and then it says boards and committees calendar. And it takes you to the calendar of all the meetings in the town by day. And if you go on Monday, March 13th, you'll see some meetings and then you'll see an arrow that says more. And when you click on it, you'll see historical commission meeting. And the link is there in the agenda. And it worked when I did it that way. That's the link I sent to you. So try that next time just to see. I don't know why this didn't work. Usually I just click on the agenda and it, it opens. So I'm not sure what happened. Um, okay. All right. Uh, uh, before we move on, Laura, if you could just clarify for me, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. a little slow no, no, no. today. No, um, okay. So for April, anyone who is able, the preferences for the committee members to be in person? Yes. Okay, thank you. But again, that could, that's what we're planning for April. I don't know what will happen after that. And if you can't, if it's a, you know, you just let me know because we still have the hybrid option, okay? I know it's hard with young children and the time of the meetings and all that. Okay, so now we're on to our, it's like the big agenda item, the local historic district update. Dawn, did, did you want to go over that? Because you're sort of the, I consider you to be the founder of the whole idea. <laughs> no, you're on mute. Oh, Dawn, you're on mute. It appears that the, um, all of the members of the study committee have been appointed. Um, I guess they all have to be sworn in at this point. Um, so there are seven members. Um, I'm going to put up the email. Sure. Of the list of members. Okay. Yeah. And Gloria, I, you, I don't know if you would know, but what the next step is, maybe we should ask Miles about this. Um, who calls the study committee into order and how do we get rolling on it? 
Who's chairing it? Wait, how did, I don't think that's been determined. Wouldn't, would they choose their own chair? And I assume they would have to have a secretary because it's a, an official meeting, right? Are you guys able to see this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So, um, yes, we're not sure of the next steps. I mean, I did send you guys the flow chart, but I don't know if that really addressed. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. really doesn't. It just we just need to find out from the select board or from the town um, what the next step is at this point. But you can see so Mo, who is the proponent, Adam Block uh, is on the planning board, Gloria, of course, Dawn. There's a resident at large, Kimberly McCollum. Bob Dermody, who's on the CPC, but I guess he's the architect. Sorry about that. Yeah. And then um, Allison Borelli, recommended by the Board of Realtors. And the asterisks have the ones that are required. Mm -hmm. So that's the group. This is huge. We, I mean, to get this far with this is really, I think, great. Um, and I, I thank Don and everybody else who pushed this along because. It's a big step for us. And Rose, I'm so glad I didn't have all those demo delays this year like you did last year. <laughs> last year was the demo mm -hmm. delay uh, year. This is different. In terms of timing, if, uh, because this is a select board uh, committee, if they're the ones who have to call the first meeting, we really ought to get it on their radar so that we don't run into town meeting um uh, and so you're 100 you're right what what i was told when we had like the initial discussions don and i had gone to a meeting we presented it what i was told after that was that it looks like it it, it may be pushed to october oh and the first but, meeting of the study committee no the town meeting vote Oh, yes. Yeah, we need to back up. We need to back up because we need to have the study committee meet and then meet with the uh, uh, Mass Historic Commission. Uh, and there's a lot of work to be done before we go to town meeting. Exactly. Right. So it's not going to happen this spring. Couldn't possibly because the warrant is already done, I believe. I don't think so, because I'm I'm on CPC and we still have some um, articles oh. that aren't. Yeah, I'm not quite sure it's done yet, but you're right. There's there's work to do before that. Um, in fact, one of the things is coming up with the bylaw language, right? That's that's one of the pieces of uh, of getting started. Um, I'm trying to look now at um, the flow chart. Did the flow, I gave you guys that. Here's a long document, which I think you've seen, um, that explains like the whole process from the beginning. Um, so once we have the committee, I, you know, I, I guess, I don't know, John, do you want me? Well, why don't, don't you show the flow chart? Mm, much better. Yeah. Flow chart is, um, okay, let me stop the sharing on this. the flow chart. Let me know when you can see it. There it is. Yep. So okay. board of selectmen or whatever, mayor, city council. Um, they appoint the individuals, which has been done. It, well, do, do they have to be sworn in? As, I think they already have. That's why Miles sent. Um, as of when Don, the call you, we were on with Miles, remember he said there were only two people that hadn't been sworn in, and then they were Allison and um, Adam. Uh, was, no, I'm not sworn in yet. No, it was just well, the two people, two people but, had not yet been appointed. And yeah. they were appointed last Friday. Okay. So then maybe people have to get sworn in. 
I'm not sure what that is like if they just if you guys just go when you can to Teddy Eaton and get sworn in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's, yeah, sometime prior to the, the meeting. Yeah, right. Right. We need to be sworn in prior, you know, before the, before we attend the meeting. But since the meeting hasn't been scheduled, it hasn't been an issue. Um. Then it says that. Um, you meet with MHC staff, which is the Mass Historical Commission. But what it what the flowchart doesn't show is the step from appointment to how the first meeting gets called. Right. How the, how the group comes together. Does I'm wondering if the longer document says that. I I think I think so. we we should probably need to contact the select board or work through Miles. Yeah, that's a I good doubt, idea. I doubt if that document has that detail in there. Right. It doesn't. Um, okay, so we can email Miles. I'll email him or if you and then I'll copy you, Don, and we'll we'll see what um he says to do. Okay. I mean should, all these questions really should go directly to our liaison and not into the group. Um so I can do that, say we understand there's the committee's been identified. We're not sure everybody's sworn, been sworn in. What what is the next step? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. And then I would also let Jen Doherty know that people have been appointed and that she will be asked to arrange a meeting with them. Although of course you don't know where it when it will be. But just give her a heads up. Yeah, so that's a really good idea. Rose, yeah. thank you. Miles. Okay, good. But this is good. I mean, it's a process, but it's really good that we've gotten to this point, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it, it seemed, it seemed in the past, cloudy to me as to how we would get to this point, but I feel like now I have clarity. Um, so this is great. Um, does anybody have any questions about that at all? The process? Okay. So update on the foster house. I don't know that we have one. Um, did anybody see the select board meeting where the developer presented? No. Well, and the, the meeting after that, the select board took a vote. They did. Um, it was very quick. There was no. Right. Uh, that's what we saw. Yeah. So I, 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 I hate to say it, but I was, we, I was told this a long time ago. There's nothing we can do. Right. Unfortunately. Right. right. So I think we take that off the agenda going forward. Um, I'm sorry, Laura. So, what was the content? I mean, I assume the vote is that they will get their permits and do what it is they originally planned to do. I don't know that. I don't know that they've gone through the whole process yet of getting like with the zoning board of appeals and the plan. I, I'm not sure they've done that yet. All I know is the last select board meeting was they basically the select board approved it, right, Rose? That's that's all I know. There may have been another meeting I, recently. I don't know. What was approved? Um, to do the project. For I mean, our, our purposes, one of the things that was approved was um, the property closest to Charles River Street. There had been two large pieces of land that's been turned into five houses. Five lots, yeah. Um, and again, I, I didn't um listen to the meeting so i'm just looking now online the select board meeting to see if there's a, what the um the the meeting at which they voted was actually on the uh the 6th which was a monday because okay. they had a meeting on the 14th i don't know let me just see if there was anything on there Okay. So the sixth, you think? All right, let me look at that. The, the sixth, they had a scheduled meeting to vote on it at uh, 
six fifteen or something like that. Okay, just give me one second. I don't see a meeting on the sixth. I see January twenty fourth and February fourteenth. Mm, okay. Um, and these are all online as well on the mm -hmm. website, the town website. Um, Mark, I don't have. I can't. I can't mute. I can't mute. So I don't have. I'm trying to see, I don't want to keep this going, but basically, my sense was that it was moving forward, and I don't know details. Mm -hmm. Is that what you heard, Rose? That's that was my understanding that it was essentially moving forward. Yeah, uh, but. Uh, the date on which the select board actually voted, I'm, I'm unclear. Okay, but we can, again, there's, there's all this information is on the website. If you look, start with your government, all committees, um, you can go anywhere from there. You get the calendar, select board meeting and agendas are, um, are in a separate category from all the other boards and committees so it's kind of easy to see um, all right so i think we have to just move on from that i don't think we're going to have any there's nothing we can do on that right now um the lost need and presentation and the completion of the slide deck we're probably going to just table that for now right glory we're going to go into that next year yeah i just i'm not able to, to work on that right now so yeah. hopefully do some work on it maybe over the summer and and get you know sort of bring it up as we start our new uh, year in September. Okay, that's no problem. Table to next year. We got a lot accomplished this year, I think with that, with the LHT, so it's great. Yeah. Okay, and then, um, okay. So now we're talking about the Heritage 3 project update. Do you want me to share your email, Gloria, is that? Yeah, if you want to share, I mean, you can or I can share that um, review, and I'll I'll talk through it real quick. Sure, that'd be great. Can you share it? Uh, can I share it, Miles? He's not here. I'm in charge now. <laughs> uh, so you have to share it, Laura. Okay, so let me go to your. Well, maybe. Are you sure? Try, Gloria. Uh, my view options does. Well, first of all, you have to unview, unshare your screen. All right, let me see if I can get you okay, no, be allowed to share. share. Host disabled participant screen sharing. No, I can't unless you give me permission. Okay, let's see. How can I do that? More. I don't know how to do that. So okay, I'm going well, to do Yeah, share your yeah. copy. It's the same. So that was in the email you sent me later this afternoon, right? Yeah. Sorry, guys, I gotta find it. I was at work trying to do it on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Give me two seconds. Sorry, guys, I've got it right here. Okay. There I go again, sharing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, first, a little bit of background. This was a contract we entered into in 2013, um, 10 years ago now. Uh, it was a contract actually between the town of Needham and the contractor community opportunities group um, to be carried out on, on our behalf and was funded by the CPC. And um, as most of you know, the project kind of ground to a halt um, so I want to just go through sort of how far we got. Uh, Dave Davison would dearly love to, you know, figure out the remainder of this and close it up because this has been on the books for, you know, lingering for 10 years now. 
Um, the initial $10,000 contract fee was paid. That was sort of the initial, the initial bump. Um, and then uh, the remaining 15,000 was gonna be staged through various uh, project benchmarks. And basically prior to this, um, Carol Boris, who was then the chair of the commission and I identified 58 properties that we wanted to be reviewed for potential inclusion in the inventory. And the uh, COG project manager was Patricia Kelleher, who was quite a good um, researcher and uh, architectural historian. So we worked with her. She produced, there. so um, slide down a little bit. The project had three phases. And the first was actually creating the inventory documents. And um, you could tell how old this document is because they were asked to provide 20 hard copies so yeah. we could make notebooks. <laughs> um, so obviously, you know, that that part of the um, of the contract is now is now irrelevant. Uh, Patricia Patty did make she produced 54 B forms. Um, the other four were we decided for various reasons were not appropriate for the inventory. So so it was 54 of the 58. Um, she did deliver drafts to the B forms. And as I say in the review, they are substantially complete. She did extensive photography. Um, she did do the, um, the deed histories at the Registry of Deeds um, and some other, and some other um, information. They are by and large missing what would have, what are essentially going to be canned narratives, you know, by, by section of town, the location histories and what's relevant about um, their particular development, time of development. Um, there are also errors, I and mean, they're just, you know, things that, you know, need to be corrected, things that were wrong. Um, I've got all these files. I think we occasionally have used them. Um, Gloria, are these like the macros? Um, Document. These are the B forms. Uh, those are the ones that get scanned and sent to Macris, but Macris doesn't have these because we've never approved these houses to be on the inventory. Okay. What has to happen for that? Does that is that a, a select board thing? No, we do that. We can just do it. Okay. We can just do it, but we have to, you know, I mean, right now there's a lot of uh, cleanup that needs to be done on these forms. Got it. In the meantime, also some of these houses have been torn down. Um, and as I said, there was supposed to be a geodatabase. I don't know whether that was ever done. Town, you know, IT would have to, um, you know, weigh in on that and whether even that's the appropriate way, you know, at this point to get these properties onto the town map is, you know, a question for them as well, or if that's, you know, technology that has also been uh, changed, upgraded over the years. So phase two is the preparation and outline for preservation plan. And she did draft a preservation plan. Um, it was also not complete. And she and I were reviewing it and, you know, sort of looking at ways to change or things we wanted to add. And about at that time, she left COG and went to another job. And as far as we're able to tell COG never told us she was leaving and, and maybe he told maybe he told the town or the CPC but the historical commission was never told and so these things sort of lagged and after a while it's like you know we haven't heard from Patty in a while and then it was like wait a minute she just showed up on you know the MHC listserv uh, in another position <laughs> and, and so you know it just sort of fell apart I went by the boards um, there doesn't seem to be any um, particular effort on COG's part to assign a new project manager to this. Um, I don't think they made any particular, uh, you know, any discussion with the town about changes in the project or the need to find um, a new contractor. I think it basically just sort of fizzled. Um, and then page, and then phase three, as a result, was never pursued at all. And this was actually fairly high on our wish list because we wanted some sort of essentially a marketing piece that made people understand what the what the inventory was. And I think to some extent more importantly, what it was not. 
you know, we got a lot of, and we still get this a lot, you know, oh, if I do that, I'll never be able to change a window or, you know, that you'll, you'll take over my house and I want to do some renovations. And that whole issue yeah, that, that uh, yeah. you know, we don't, we don't take over people's houses. We don't um, dictate what they do inside. It just really is a streetscape slash demolition issue. And it's not, you know, you have two colors of paint, you have, you know, your roof has to be slate, none of that, but people do see it that way. So what we wanted them to do is create a sort of marketing piece that we could use when we approached potential inventory um, participants to say, look, you know, this is the, this is the advantages of being on the inventory. This is what it involves. And no, we're not going to dictate your every move. Um, but that never happened. And um, she was also wanted to do a couple of articles that we would put into the local news, um, oh. sort of publicize the inventory and use that also as a way of saying, you know, isn't this wonderful? Look how many wonderful historic assets we have. Um, and this inventory is a way of recognizing them, but in no way takes over, you know, <laughs> homeowners autonomy and control over his pro you know, that, that kind of thing. That, so phase three was never was never um, breached at all. So um, we're in this position of we paid them ten thousand dollars. We have not paid them, you know, roughly sixty percent of the. Yeah, I guess about sixty percent of the of the. Um, what was the amount? Uh, given? It was twenty five. It was twenty four eight. So twenty five thousand dollars. I they've see. gotten they've gotten forty percent. We still owe them sixty percent, but they still owe us a considerable chunk of the deliverables. Um, in the meantime, I've been trying to find this company online and Whoa. I think it has, it still exists, but I think it is transitioning into a, a, a type of um, community social services organization or something like that. And if you go to their website, there's just a splash page that says change is coming. And that's all. <laughs> it doesn't wow. say what the changes. It doesn't let you, you know, it doesn't let you click onto anything. So obviously they're in some sort of transition. So I don't even know at this point, you know, if we're looking at reconnecting with COG or if there's $15,000 in the bucket that we find another contractor to finish this off or, or really what? Um, I think, and I think that's a discussion we have to have with Dave Davison. Okay, Rose. Uh, and I think that one of the questions is legally, uh, what is our situation? Are we okay, tied right. to COG? Uh, right. Do we owe them the remainder of the money? Uh, if we, um, I can hardly believe that they've walked away from this amount of money. Uh, it's not huge, but it's still a bit of change. Um, but, you know, that's a, a legal issue. Who? Is there, either of you to them? is there a contract, Lori? Did we ever sign a contract with them? There is a contract. Yes. Do you have it? I mean, we didn't we didn't sign this site. It, it's it's the town of Needham. So um, you know, we're we're just the uh, it's sort of on our behalf, but we're not the agent. Um do you have the contract? In, in response, in, I do have a copy of the contract, yeah. In response to Rose's point, um, they've never asked us for more money they've mm -hmm. never they've never pursued getting paid um to be honest they have not delivered right you know they got the it was sort of ten ten thousand up front and then and then you know payment i think there was another benchmark payment and then pay, the remainder on completion um but there's a lot of undone work in this contract so we're not sitting on a completed job that hasn't been paid for. We're basically both sort of in the middle. We haven't paid them everything, but they haven't given us everything. And whether, you know, whether you could say they haven't given us 60%, you know, is, you know, that's a, that's another, that's another question, whether we owe right. them something, but not everything, or, you know, how this is going to get completed. Like if they've done $10,000 worth of work is the question. Like, are we Sorry? even now and we just need to? Yeah, know, I think they've done $10,000. I mean, we still have, you know, we have 54 inventory, you know, B forms. They're not perfect, okay. um, but they're not nothing. 
could, uh, could we you know she did, she did a lot of good work it's not it's yeah. not that they were sloppier you know or or ill ill intentioned right um, it's just she got a better offer and she left and they don't seem to have picked up the ball from there and we didn't chase it either okay at the time so my thought and, and then i want to hear well let me hear from everybody else so uh, Don, what do you what do you think we should do as a next step? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> uh, Rose, do you have any idea? Uh, my my question would be: What are our legal response or the town of Needham's legal responsibilities right. to uh, this this cog uh, and? Uh, is there, do we really want COG to complete this work or right. do we want to get out of it and find someone else? But right. then what do we do with the, um, the contract? Uh, right. I, which, prob which probably leads us back to Dave Davidson again. Or to town council. I don't know which. Right. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Gloria, is uh, the materials that you have, would those be in good enough shape to hand over to somebody, to another group to pick it up? Yes. It? Yes. Yeah, the B forms, the B forms are, are good enough to use. Um, Leah, what do you, I know that you're new to this, but um, does this, do you have any questions about this? Just to make sure you understand what. Um, yeah, I think I know what, what we're facing. And I think my thoughts are pretty similar to what Rose was saying is that once we understand what we're responsible for legally, um, it seems like this might not be a relationship that we want to carry forward if we can find someone else who can, can do it instead, as long as there isn't a responsibility still to COG you know, 15,000 is a decent chunk of change, but if we still owe that back to them in some form, then that amount is a lot smaller to move forward to another contractor. So understanding what we have available um, would be important. Okay. And is Joe, are you still here, Joe? Yeah, yeah. I'm still here. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I would echo that. Yeah, yeah I, I would kind of uh, obviously echo what Lee and, and Rose said. I just hate to kind of start with someone else and then find out they kind of circle back and then we're kind of, you know, kind of routine and rock in a hard place when we don't have much money to kind of finish off what we need to finish off. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I agree with, with that. And, uh, the, a contract that cost 24-8 in 2013 <laughs> is a lot more now. Yes. So yeah, yeah that, that 15,000 is gonna go really a lot more. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, by the same token, the town has been working on a preservation plan of its own, hasn't it? So maybe if we sort of asked for cleanup of the B forms and some good marketing materials and sort of skip phase two. So go back to CPC and ask for, well, we need to find out what's involved and how much money. But would you, are you saying we would go back, if, if we needed more funding, we'd go back to CPC and say, you know, this is where we're at with this. And we might have to, I would first go to, well, I'd first go to Dave and see sort of what, what we can clear, um, you know, what's, you know, is, is, you know, Rose and Joe and Leah said, what's our, what's our legal obligation? What's been uh, met? What hasn't been met? And, um, you know, are we, are we, is it essentially a wash because we owe them and they owe us? Or is there some, you know, right. are we on the hook um, for it? some imbalance that needs to be needs to be um, rectified first, and then, if possible, find another contractor. You know, if we could find somebody and say we've got fifteen thousand dollars, and then they laugh at us, <laughs> um, well, we might have to get more. You know, then then we might have to make a case uh, to CPC for additional funding. Um, but but I think we're not we're not re we're not at that point yet. And yeah. um, D uh, Dave has asked for some update. And if um, you all approve, I will, you know, send him this document. Great. 
and and then say, okay, Dave, what's next? You know, where do we go from here? And uh, these are the concerns we have. Right. What happens next? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like we almost need to find out. <laughs> First of all, does this organization still exist? Um, and who who would we enter into a, a, an agreement to say that we're going to terminate this this contract? So that I so I feel like Gloria Dave Davidson, but also as someone alluded, I think Rose, I think Town Council too. Once Dave, you, we flushed it out with Dave. I think he has to. Stay, town Council has to see the. Um, I think his name is Chris. Um, yeah, Dave, but Dave would do that. Dave would have to do that. Okay, so yeah, we would essentially, you know, throw it back to him. Say, okay, this is the this is the review you requested. These are the questions that we have. Um, what do you want us to do next? You know, we're in, we we are interested in completing this project, but you know, we don't. What do we do next? Where do we where do we go from here? Right. So that I would, think be, be, a great that would be him, you know, his financial review and, and town council's legal review to decide. Rose? We have a plan. We have a plan. A plan. So, to, yeah, the plan is to toss it, toss it to Dave. My suggestion would be in the email to say, you know, we'd also like, you know, once you've you've reviewed it, we'd like the town council's opinion. Um, on whether we, you know, on how we can move forward, if we have, you know, are we tied to this, um, uh, you know, this this firm, or are we able to move forward with some some other firm? Because he well, and we sorry, Laura, we need the contract reviewed. Sorry, go ahead, Leah. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt no, no. you. No. Um, also, to understand if the company exists first, as some people have mentioned, totally. but also. Um, if they're transitioning, do they have the capacity to finish this work? And does that affect the contract at all if they no longer do this right. sort of work? I mean, right. It's been 10 years too. So I wonder if there's a clause in there about that. I mean, how how long? I wonder if there's like a third. I, I don't know. Just There's usually a termination clause of some type. Yeah. But, you know, it, it, if this has been lingering for 10 years, I think right. that's reason enough to to um, terminate it right I'll check, I'll check the contract i do have a it's 58 pages long which is yeah. why i didn't send it well, around that's so, why we should if anybody it. wants a copy i would be happy to email it yeah to i'd love to see it <laughs> okay yeah i'll send it out but that's why i think dave needs to have town council look at it too yeah you know, and to yeah dave it. has dave has the contract because that's okay you said it to me but yeah i'll check and see if there's a term i mean obviously i'll see the termination clause but but yeah, I mean, the thing that that strikes me as I was doing this is, you know, we've dawdled, we dawdled for years about sort of our next steps and getting the editing completed, you know, especially after Patty left, which was like 2015, so a couple of years after the project started. Um, but COG doesn't ever seem to have pushed back, as far as I can tell, you know, never, you know, Hey, what's going on? Or how come yeah. we haven't been paid? Or you know, so I'm not really sure. So I wonder if either. in the interim we could all kind of just sort of try to find this firm and see what's up with it. Um, I think that might be interesting to do. Gloria, how do we find this firm in the first place? Like, how do you find someone that does this? Do you go to MHC and ask them for help, or how do we find a firm that does this kind of work? Yeah. Would I would start, help? yeah, I would start with Jen. So I wonder if and we ask, also, at the same time, ask her. email Jen and say, hey, Jen, you know, this is the story. Do you know anything about this firm? You want me yeah, to do I that? Googled them, when I Googled them this afternoon, um, I got Community Opportunities Group, and the, this is the little side Google sidebar, um, Mass Access Housing. Community Center in Boston. It's the same address, Kingston Street, as the one that we, um, you know, as, as when we signed the contract. Right. But then when I go to their website, it's a rather nice sort of paint marble, blue turquoise thing. It says Community Opportunities Group Incorporated. Something is happening. Yeah, and we I just did the same thing, Gloria. I just yeah. looked it up and got the same two things you just outlined. 
Yeah, there. So there's no. So it looks like they're doing. They're they're moving to some other. It appears that they're moving to some other um, focus. I'm gonna um, do a quick search on mass corporations, where you can search by um, oh. to see if there's if they're listed there and what their mission is. They have to do an annual filing every year. You have so More many good points. What is so? Uh, can you give me? I know the acronym. Can you just give me the name again? The uh, Community Opportunities Group. Oh, uh, was it a nonprofit? No, or was it profit making. Okay, it's not. Well, I mean, no, it's it's a it's a dot com. It's not a dot org. So I'm assuming it's not a nonprofit. Yeah, that's right. I don't see anything. It's not. Nothing's coming up on the uh, Secretary of State's office. Community Opportunities Group. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hold on, let me just make sure I've got my ducks in a row here. I'm just going to take out group and see if that changes anything. Yes, got it. If this is the same one, it is. It's listed in. Um, does Wayne Dara Dara mean anything to you? That name? No. No, it was Peter somebody. Oh, no, I don't think. Is it uh, King, 129 Kingston Street? No, I think this one was dissolved. This is, I don't see anything. Yeah, it's shown in Medford. Yeah, that's not it. Okay. Well, okay. So, it, you know, we'll do our best. Um, did they have a phone number or a contact option on the website or no? No, they just have a splash page that says change is coming or something yeah. like that. I okay. did find a link through another organization through CHAPA and oh, it's good. about um, the OG looking for more project managers and it still has that 129 Kingston Street address. I, I can't tell how old this particular <laughs> website is. Okay. Um, well, but let's do this. In the meantime, we'll poke around and see what we can find, right? I, I think Gloria emailing um, Dave and say, we'd really like town council to look at this contract. Um, it, we're, we can't, it's not obvious what, that this, this entity still exists and is still doing this work. Um, and we wanna know uh, if, 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 if we can have the option to find another firm and finish this. Yeah. I think that's what we should do because and in the meantime, I, I'm happy to email Jen Doherty and ask her. She's this company is still active mm -hmm. okay. and doing that kind of work. And if I they are, she would know. I mean, I assume because she or yeah. others have worked with them. Yeah. Does that yeah. sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. All right, good. Okay. Um, Okie dokie. Is there any um, new business? Anything? John, is there anything we want to bring up or? No. Um, I, I've forgotten who's going to do the follow up on the next steps with, are you going to reach out to Miles, Don? Uh, Don yeah, I can. I can. Okay. Make sure that. Um, can and um, Someone, we need someone. To, so when I email Jen, I'm gonna. I'll also give her the update on the LHD. How about that? Yeah, I would actually put it into two separate um, emails because that way, if she wants to forward it to the the information about the LHD, we don't have the all of the uh, other stuff in it. Yeah. Other stuff. Okay. 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 Great. Um, my last question on this thing is, is it, is it, I know we can get a consultant for some amount of money, but is this something that we can also, any of us can sort of work on, Gloria, or is it, you know, could like Leah or Joe, or is it something we could kind of clean up the, the forms? We can, it's just really time consuming, which is kind of why it never got done. Yeah, understood. You know, we can maybe give it a shot. You know, we're not going to get another contractor anytime, you know, immediately. So, you know, if we want to give it a shot over the summer, 
my horizon right now is after May. So, okay. <laughs> but um, you know, if we want to give it a shot over the summer, split them up, and and you know, start looking at what needs to be um, done for them. You know, certainly it's 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 probably doable at this point. Uh, she did, you know, in my my view, the property research is the hardest and most time consuming part. She's really done all of that. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I'm just wondering yeah. if we can just, if there's something that we can do that's not so time consuming to pick up where she left off in the interim. And then maybe um, we could also then hire out for the, um, for the publicity piece. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because that is probably, you know, th th that's of great value to us and probably a little bit more outside our areas of expertise. Um, and if there is some money available, that might be a good way to spend it. And that those at this point could be, you know, it could be a link on our page on the town page too. Right, you know, I have a list of approved projects. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when this was, you know, ten years ago, you know, ten years ago, we all had internet, but obviously, looking at the deliverables, we're all working off of paper. You know, twenty hard copies for our notebooks, two yeah. CDs in case we have to print. Basically, the CDs were the digital files in case we had to print out more notebooks. Wow. Um, you know, pro, bro, when she said, you know, a brochure, she really meant, you know, a trifold thing um, that we would leave in, you know, strategic places around town. And we might want to do that too. But, you know, there, there's yeah, a lot less, both, maybe, maybe. a lot less access to digital resources and people were using them a lot less. So um, obviously, you know, a lot of the things that they specify in this list, you know, the formats for the things we specify in the list are no longer relevant. Yeah. Okay. And if you split it up that way too, I think it might open up who you could go to for the publicity piece because it seems like this company, and I honestly don't know how many other companies there are that do this sort of work with all three phases. But mm -hmm. if you're just looking for the publicity piece, you probably have more companies that you could reach out to rather than someone who does all of them. Right. That so might yeah. be something, a different firm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think we know what we all are going to do about this piece. Um, so no other new business, anything else? And does anybody have any more comments or? I have a question. Yeah, sure. Heard, has, have we heard anything um, on, I don't know the number of great plans at the Hillcrest Gardens building? Oh, um, I took that off. Um, I probably should have mentioned it. I'm sorry. Um, I have not. Has anybody else? Gloria, have you heard anything about that? Not recently, but I think um, it's going to be on the warrant. Hmm. Oh, for town meeting. Okay. I know that was the goal. I don't know if it ended up being. Well, they're finishing the warrant tomorrow, maybe. Did that um, go through the, um, the plan? Is this the planning board or the zoning board? It's the planning board, and it, he did have planning board hearings, but I don't know whether uh, I I I don't know whether planning board approved it. I didn't get the impression they were they were in favor, of, but um, I can't. That's not a definitive opinion. Okay. Um, so let's see, um, Joe. If we I'm looking. We can look online to see if there's anything in their minutes. Um, okay. I was just okay. curious. I, I mean, I, I drive by it often. It seems like it's been nothing's happened there, one way or another. Oh, it's gonna, um, yeah. No, he can't do anything. I mean, he can tear it down, I suppose, if he wants to, but he can't. Um, right now, he can't. Right. Pursue it until he gets his zoning change. Right. right. Yeah, he won't get the building permit until he has that uh, approval. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking really quick to see, but um, it's too bad. It's a cool house. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, and the greenhouse is taking a few rocks, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. They're taking rocks. what, Rose? Uh, they're, they're, the glass is being broken slowly, but. Mm -hmm. um, 
looking at their agendas really quick. Actually, I suppose the, the glass could simply have fallen out because it doesn't have uh, good um, seals around it. So I shouldn't. Uh, I think your first I think your first assumption is probably more likely. Yes, I think so too. Great thing to do on a Saturday night when Needham's so boring. <laughs> Dinner and a smashing. Mm. Um, yeah, I think we can look that up online. I'm having trouble getting it quickly, but um, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. Do you got, does anybody have it? Uh, last time I looked, they weren't posted. What's the... I didn't see anything through the website officially, but there was something through the Needham channel. There was a YouTube and then a um, summary afterwards of a meeting that looked like it was maybe in January. That's what popped up for me, but I was trying to skim for the highlights. Let's see. I'm looking at their agenda for, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know which meeting was that, so I can't really. Um, I can't really find it quickly, but they're all they're all online. Um, they're not they're not there yet. I mean, they like as Gloria said, they've got a little bit of ways to go. But and then this type of thing would go to um, town meeting, Gloria. Yes. Okay. It's a zoning change. It needs a vote in town meeting. Are, 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 um, who's the town meeting member? Leah or Joe, are you? I'm not. Are you Gloria? Is Jeff? No. Jeff, I am. Jeff. Jeff is. Jeff I am. And Laura. Jeff yeah. and Laura. And my husband is too. He's the one who gets, actually finds out more of this information than I do. <laughs> Watches all these meetings. It's so funny. So it looks like it was the January 3rd meeting, Laura. Oh, good. You see it? Okay, great. Uh, I, I, still haven't, I still haven't found the minutes, but on yeah. the Needham channel, um, they've got a little summary of it, and they they say that the planning board meeting was on Tuesday, January third, okay. where they presented a new plan pushing the building back twenty feet from Great Plain, okay, and adding a fourth floor. Yeah, so they approved that. Uh, that I haven't found yet, but okay. at least I can get you to the right meeting. Thank you. Um, push back, would you say 40 feet? Uh, let's see. One, 20 four. feet and right. then adding a fourth floor. Okay. Thank you for that. Sure. Yeah, I think it's really hard here. There's not a lot of protections, you know, for properties. That's something we need to keep working on. The LHD is great, but it's going to take a long time and it's sort of like, you know, what, you know, if we ever got a neighborhood, that would be great. But there's other things we can do, like, you know, we can lengthen demo delay bylaws, we can require more information like the town of Medfield does. They want a demo delay plan. They want to work with the developer to see just even if they could keep a piece of the property, you know, there's things we can do. So maybe that's, those are initiatives for next year. I keep cutting you off, Laura. I'm no, so no, sorry. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> no. Are are there any thoughts on introducing the like year restrictions? I know we had talked about that a little yeah, bit. That's that's another thing. That's another thing. Yeah, because <clears throat> that would save some smaller homes for people. You know, there's a lot of affordable homes that get torn down and replaced by big homes, and it doesn't. And you know, there is a housing a working housing plan committee and you know, maybe it's something we should sort of try to coordinate with them next. I don't think we can do it now, but. That may be something to revisit now that the composition of the select board has changed. Yeah. Um, because when we did raise that issue a few years ago in the context of, you know, what other changes were, were you know, we wanted to get them to look at a one year uh, bylaw, but also we talked about some other options, and they were very adamant that they were not going to go for a, right. a year-based, right? But you know, but 
the, the it's a it's nearly entirely different board now so maybe a topic it too. and you know what we are especially an especially as you're right you know in concert with the um with the housing group because right that does create the opportunity to save some of the smaller houses mm -hmm. right. Good it does and you know we um we are an outlier with our six month delay mm -hmm. completely i did that research yeah. a years ago, i remember yeah. If anything, towns are imposing longer delays. And six months is just in time for them to get their materials. It's not even yeah. a delay. Yeah, it's, tri and, it's trivial. It's not, it's not it, a delay at all. And it protects um, only houses listed on the inventory, right? So to Leah's point, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, if your house, you know, we don't have a year, I mean an age or a year um, restriction, we don't have. You know, we don't re request a lot when they come to us for their delays, right? We could make it a little harder for them. We can ask for a demo a plan and we can say, we really want you to save part of this. You know, we can do more that way, but I think the bylaws need to change for sure. And I think yeah. you're right, Gloria. And, yeah, are, but also, but, you know, at the time we discussed it, it was, it was our, you know, it was kind of arbitrary. Why did you pick this date? You know, and it was hard to make a case that that was a better solution than any other. Mm -hmm. um, but now that you can say this also fits with the goals of, you know, of housing. affordable housing preservation, right. then it really has, it has a much, um, it, it's not arbitrary anymore. It's purposeful. So, exactly. you know, so maybe, so we, we should coordinate with them. Maybe we can get a, like a, a, a meeting have like sort of one of their subcommittees or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, I don't know if now is the time, but um, I was on that committee for a couple of weeks and realized I couldn't handle that plus this plus CPC. Um, but I do know some people that are on it and I can certainly, there's no, there's no harm in reaching out, right? There's no harm at all. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that that's a that's a potentially a, a really um, powerful partnership. And when we Don and I went to the select board meeting, we talked about that. Remember, Don, we mentioned that, and it was in their minutes for a change to the demo delay bylaws. So it's mm -hmm. not like they're going to be wow, where'd this come from? They they know we spoke frankly about that when we went to talk about the LHD. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Well, I would consider that new business, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I will reach out to someone on that group. I have to remember. Maybe Natasha. Do, Natasha, I can't remember the last name. Um, and see if we can get something going with them about this. Okay. Um, anything else? No. Yep. Cool. Um, so to, should we make a motion to I go? move that we adjourn. <laughs> I I'll second I, it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you all. Good night. I'm just, Thank you, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm just gonna end this. That's what Miles said to do. And that we would be all set all set. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 All right. I need to end this meeting. Huh? Hold on a second.